and I'm very pleased to say that the Prime Minister continues to make good progress. I mean, I can't speak for every single strand right now of public services and PPE, um, but the plan has been outlined, certainly by the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. But from a policing perspective, you know, we're already out there in terms of making sure that we have enough gloves, face masks, and a, and a substantial supply chain as well, with already 1.5 million gloves and masks in the pipeline for distribution. So th this is about various aspects of various services, whether it's policing, fire, prisons, the NHS. Of course, the NHS is the priority right now, which is why we're asking people to stay at home. But at the same time, as Stephen has outlined, and also the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, there is a clear plan. We're working with not just suppliers, but manufacturers to really bolster and boost the supply that we need for PPA, PPE, which quite frankly is unprecedented during this crisis. Well, I'm sorry if people feel that there have been failings. I'll be very, very clear about that. But at the same time, we are in an, un, in an unprecedented global health pandemic right now. It is inevitable that the demand and the pressures on PPE and the demand for PPE are going to be exponential. They're going to be incredibly high. And of course, we are trying to address that as a government. And I think that is right. That is our priority. Matt Hancock, as Secretary of State for Health, has spoken about this repeatedly through the plan that he has outlined and obviously the ways in which we want to do much more to manufacture our own PPE in this country, while we also boost our own supplies from overseas partners and countries where more PPE is coming into the country, but also ensuring that the distribution, which is unprecedented right now in terms of healthcare settings, whether it's hospitals, GP surgeries, care homes, everyone needs that PPE on the front line, and everyone is working to achieve just that, whether it's through the Department of Health, through the Cabinet Office, through Public Health England, through health and safety, through the guidance and the resources that we're trying to get out there.